reportage. Be informed today. Subscribe and never miss a single thing. An asylum is a place of protection and shelter. Asylums may have been established with the best of intentions to provide a safe haven for the mentally ill. However, history shows that they frequently provided the exact opposite and became a living nightmare for many of its residents. Today we will be talking about 12 Asylums of Horror. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel. Number 12. Fernand State School. This school was originally known as the Massachusetts School for the Feeble-Minded. The school was renamed after its third superintendent, who was an outspoken supporter of eugenics, the removal of certain people from society in order to prevent them from reproducing, and used the school for that purpose. Although the school was founded to serve the mentally handicapped, it soon began to accept patients who were simply poor or unwanted. In fact, it is estimated that up to 50% of patients were not mentally handicapped at all. When radiation tests began in the 1940s and 1950s, more controversy arose. The patients were enticed to join the science club, where they were systematically exposed to small doses of radiation and their absorption of the toxic energy was monitored. Number 11. Ganjium Psychiatric Hospital Many people are believed to have died at South Korea's Ganjium Psychiatric Hospital. According to local legend, the facility was forced to close due to a series of mysterious deaths, and the doctors frequently went insane. While this information may or may not be correct, the hospital was closed due to sanitary and sewage issues. Unwelcome trespassers and paranormal investigators have reported seeing bloody scratches and glass shards being thrown across rooms and hallways. Voices, moans, and screams have been heard throughout the dilapidated building, as well as shadows. Number 10. Gladesville Mental Hospital The Turban Creek Mental Hospital opened in 1838 on Sydney's aptly named Bedlam Point on the Parramatta River. Instead of patients, it housed convicts for the next two years. At one point, 146 inmates were housed in a facility designed for 60. There were still issues when Turban Creek became Bladesville Mental Hospital in the 20th century. Over 1,000 skeletons remain at the site, demonstrating the stigma attached to mental health at the time. Number 9. Willowbrook State School. In 1947, this Staten Island institution for mentally ill children opened its doors. Hepatitis A outbreaks plagued the Willowbrook from the beginning. Medical professionals used the facility to research the effects of disease and drug treatment. By the 1970s, public outrage over using sick children as medical test subjects had forced such experiments to end. Despite the allegations of malpractice, the research resulted in minor advances in the study of the disease. On behalf of the patients, a class action lawsuit was filed against the state of New York in 1972. Number 8. Federico Mora Hospital. Founded in 1888 as the Massachusetts School for the Feeble-Minded, the institution was later renamed after its third superintendent, Walter Fernald. Unfortunately, Fernald was a staunch supporter of eugenics, and his work at the facility was motivated by a deep conviction that unwanted and inferior people should be separated from the rest of society so they could not reproduce. Over the course of its 125-year history, the 186-acre campus has witnessed unspeakable atrocities, ranging from overcrowded and filthy living conditions to physical and sexual abuse by staff. Number 7. 7. Severals Hospital. Severals Hospital in Colchester, Essex, United Kingdom, was a psychiatric hospital designed by architect Frank Whitmore and built in 1910. It opened in May 1913 and had a capacity of 2,000 patients. The majority of the structures are designed in the Queen Anne style, with few architectural embellishments typical of the Edwardian period. However, until March 20, 1997, a small section remained open for the treatment of elderly patients suffering from the effects of a severe stroke. However, ghost hunters are still drawn to the location in search of critical encounters. Number 6. Trenton Psychiatric Hospital aka New Jersey State Lunatic Asylum Trenton Psychiatric Hospital, formerly known as the New Jersey State Lunatic Asylum, was established in 1848. It was the first public institution to promote patient privacy and a friendly atmosphere. Dr. Henry Cotton was appointed medical director of the hospital in 1907. Dr. Cotton initially followed the facility's ethos. He instituted occupational therapy programs and abolished cruel restraints. He did, however, believe that mental illness was caused by infections and could be treated surgically. Number 5. Traverse City State Hospital, Michigan 
The Traverse City State Hospital in Traverse City, Michigan, was formerly known as the Northern Michigan Asylum and the Traverse City Regional Psychiatric Hospital. It is the last of Michigan's original for Kirkbride buildings still standing. In 1978, it was added to the National Register of Historic Places, and in 1985, it was designated a Michigan State Historic Site. The Traverse City State Hospital is comprised of several buildings spread across a large rolling campus. Many of the buildings are made of the same buff brick. Building 50, the complex's visual centerpiece, is a three-story stone structure with 386,740 square feet of space. Victorian architecture features towers, bracketed eaves, and dormers. Number 4. St. Lawrence Bodmin, UK. St. Lawrence's Hospital was a mental health facility in Bodmin, Cornwall, United Kingdom. A portion of the hospital has been converted into residential space, while the remainder has been demolished. It is a grade 2 listed structure. When it was built in 1818, it was known as the Cornwall County Asylum. To accommodate the number of patients committed, the building underwent extensive renovations over the years. St. Lawrence was investigated in 1967 for poor patients patient care and eventually closed down in 2002. It was built to address the issue of housing the insane poor and inmate conditions were notoriously poor. Number 3. Penhost Asylum While any form of abuse is abhorrent, Penhost Insane Asylum's treatment of children is out of this world. Penhost was built to educate and care for the mentally disabled, but it quickly became known for the opposite. In 1968, the public became aware of the horrific conditions in the asylum thanks to investigative reporter Bill Baldini. The news report, titled Suffer the Little Children, depicted neglected children's screams filling the air, widespread physical and sexual abuse, and a general lack of empathy for patients. The report also revealed that children who bit each other received a warning, with a second warning resulting in the removal of a child's teeth. Number 2. Topeka State Hospital Topeka State Hospital, formerly known as the Topeka State Asylum, was founded in 1872 to treat the mentally ill. Rumors of rape and mistreatment in hospitals had already begun by the early 20th century. Over the course of several decades, the hospital was investigated for unethically chaining patients and neglect. When it was revealed that John Crabb, a 59-year-old patient, was mentally sane and had been wrongfully incarcerated in the hospital, the hospital received harsh criticism. Following this period, the hospital underwent rapid reforms to improve treatment and ensure proper diagnosis. Number 1. Bethlehem Royal Hospital aka Bedlam. St. Mary Bethlehem, also known as Bethlehem Royal Hospital, is a psychiatric hospital in London. Its infamous history has inspired numerous horror books, films, and television series, most notably Bedlam, a 1946 film starring Boris Karloff. Bethlehem Royal Hospital was founded in 1247 as a poor care hospital. It would soon become known as Bedlam, an asylum for lunatics. Bedlam was, as the name implies, a scene of uproar and confusion. Two Bedlam Bedlam is the oldest asylum and has risen to the top of our list of the most horrific asylums for reasons unrelated to its age. The hospital is closely associated with King's College London and is a major center for psychiatric research in collaboration with the Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology, and Neuroscience. That concludes today's video. What do you think about our list? Tell us in the comments section below. Also, please like and subscribe to our channel for future updates.